Hi guys. Dave here for Dave Outdoors, uh, precariously perched on the edge of this cliff. Thanks for tuning in. Um, this is the second installment of finding and consuming the fruit from the kiki plant. Now just to rehash, the kiki plant is identified by its long stalk or its long trunk. It travels along the ground and wherever it can, it finds a vertical uh, rise, rocks, trees, what have you and it climbs up them and tries to get to the top of the, of the canopy of the rainforest. And here we have some of the kiki fruit here. So again, in, uh, it's late autumn, late fall, or early winter is when the fruit is usually ready to start eating. It's not quite winter yet, but some of the fruit I've noticed on the trees around here because I've been coming out regularly is ready to eat. Um, let's take a quick look at it here. Here's our fruit right here. And there's three of them on this, uh, this particular tuft of flax. And two of them are rock hard, really hard. But this third one is good. It's nice and soft. And if we pick off a little bit of the skin, it tells us it's ready to eat. Just a little bit of the skin comes off like that. And we can eat, eat underneath the skin. Now, you have to be on the lookout for these because for what I've experienced myself, is that there's a lot of kiki, a lot of kiki plants around, a lot of them, but not a whole lot of them producing fruit. So it really is a focus when coming out here, taking the time and looking for the fruit in order to find it. In fact, it can be pretty tricky as well. I've been here a number of times, and every single time I've walked right by this plant, even though I know this, this is one of the ones I've been looking for, and it's easy to walk straight past them because there's so many around. Um, but I have markers further up, uh, like I know when the Kawakawa starts in this area. That's my uh, landmark that I'm in the right area. And uh, I realized I hit the Kawakawa and had to turn back and find this kiki. So uh, I guess in general foraging in the New Zealand bush probably does take a lot of, uh, it, it does take a lot of focus. You really have to be uh, focused on what you want and looking diligently in order to find it. Okay, so... Let's cut this guy off and uh, have a feed. Careful not to nick the uh, or cut into the other ones because I want to harvest them later when they're ripe. So I don't want to damage the other fruit. It is actually a very sharp knife. I'm just in a very awkward position. There we go. Sorry, fella. Bring her up. Okay guys, well the rain did come down and I did get a little bit damp. I had to race back to my car uh, which is just over there and I'm just on the edge of a park at the moment uh, just filming this final little segment. But uh, here's our fruit. This is the kiki fruit and ripe ready to eat. Hopefully ripe ready to eat. We'll find, we're going to find out in a minute. Uh, I'm going to put it in closer. Hopefully uh, it'll stay in focus here, I'm not sure if it will, but that's our fruit there. As you can see, quite yellow. So yellow or pinkish tinge, and that's when she's ready, and it's quite soft. As you can see, this little knobs here, just peeling right off and dropping right off. And it's under these little knobs, and I'll keep peeling away, where the fruit is that you eat. So let's take a little bit off and see what we can do. Come, coming away quite easily when they're other times they're rock hard you know when they're not ripe yet and they just won't move but these guys are coming away quite easily now I have been here a few times earlier uh, over a couple of a uh, couple of weeks and finding the odd one on this very same plant that was actually fully ripe and I did find one that was like completely yellow yellow like a banana yellow it was completely yellow 
and I think that would have been overripe for these, I think. And half of it was eaten. I'm thinking the birds, they ate it right down to the core. But the other half was okay. So I gave it a little wipe off on the other half and ate some of the other half. I didn't get avian bird flu or anything, so I'm pretty sure it was safe. But um, it didn't have much taste. Very little taste at all. These, this is pretty good source of sugar, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to taste the sweetness in it. And um, that other one had hardly any little taste. I got a sort of faint taste of apple. And other than that, it was almost tasteless, is, is how I would describe it. But we'll see. This one here is different. I, I think this one here is going to be at the, the proper ripe, ripeness. Just to give an idea. I don't know if you can see that, but there's those little knobs coming off of there. Those little things there. This is supposed to be one of the better fruits of New Zealand been one of the better wild fruits of New Zealand. So let's see what we got. Okay. There we go. That's our fellow there. Kind of looks like a a soggy banana. That's how it looks. Let's see. Real juicy. So I think like the supple jack. A good source of rehydration there. How would you describe the toast? Not very strong. A little bit of a tangy, sour sort of bite to it, so maybe it's not quite ripe, or maybe that's normal for this. I've been ungrossed you out here. But as you can see, you see the brown core, and you see the, fr the, the white fruit around the edge that we're eating. It's been described as having a, a bit of a pear taste, like a pear. Yeah, very, very faint. Not a whole lot of flavor. I think that's what I'm finding with a lot of the... Um, um, the uh, forage, forage foods I'm finding around the bush here, just not a whole lot of flavor to them. Um, I guess we're very cushy from the uh, special hybrids and everything that we have in the that we uh, feed on in our supermarkets. Uh, the flavor is just like intense compared to this this natural stuff here. Hmm. Well, a source of sugar, a source of uh, fluid wouldn't keep me coming back out to get more all the time <laughs> well there we have it a couple little nobules on there well there we have it then that's the kiki fruit of the kiki plant one other fruit I'll look at in the springtime I believe it's early spring right after winter is what's supposed to be the best eating um, the best wild edible in New Zealand and that is the from the same plant from the kiki plant but it's a flower bract um, b-r-a-c-t basically it's an undeveloped flower I think is what it is and it's white and you find it in the kiki plants out of uh, it out of that flower bract comes the stalk and then comes this fruit so I think I'll be around this area again at the end of spring and see if I can um, find that, uh, that flower bract. That's supposed to be the nicest taste in the bowl. So thanks for tuning in, guys. really do appreciate your support. And I, I love reading the comments. And um, when people get involved in it, I love reading the comments. Uh, I like it when I get likes. <laughs> and I always love it when I get a new subscriber. And um, so uh, please subscribe if you like the, uh, if you like the content. And please comment. I try to get back to every single com uh, comment I that is there, and I try to reply to every single one. So that's awesome. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video.